Hi guys, it's Dora Goodman here. Thanks for building the Goodman Zone camera. In this video, I'm going to help you assemble it. So basically, um, you can use the open source files you download from the internet and print it for yourself, or you can order the kit from us. It doesn't really make a difference uh, which one you build, so the process is actually the same. So let's get it started. So let's get to the unboxing. This is the kit you ordered from us. Let's see what's inside. When uh, ordering the kit from us, um, you can see that you have the camera itself inside. It contains all the hardware that you need. Then it has a sending sponge. In this little envelope you have the foils so in this one you're gonna see actually two types there's an artificial leather as well as some carbon the basic uh, kit comes with either of these but um, optionally you can order both of them as well then uh, finally you have all these uh, extra additional accessories that you can order for the kit so the first step is going to be inserting the nuts, these small M3 ones, into the raw camera itself. You have 13 of these. You're going to find six holes on the back of the camera. So one, two, three, four, five, six holes. And seven in the inside that I'm going to show you guys later on as well. We're going to put these little M3s into position, the pointy side. Some may fall further in and some may just stay on the top, but we're gonna fix those using a regular screwdriver. So we're actually done with uh, putting the M3s into position. They may wiggle a little, but don't worry because once putting these screws inside, they're gonna be kept in position. Then we're gonna continue putting the M4 nuts into position with the M4 screws using this Allen wrench. We have four holes here and we have two and two on the sides. So taking the screws, you're going to start putting it in there. Then you take the Allen wrench and we have, we have a little trick here. You place your finger behind the hole, start screwing it in right until you feel the screw coming out on the other end, touching your finger. You then stop, you take the nut, you put it in the hole. Once the nut is in position, you just keep it there with your finger and you screw until the knob touches the body. Screwing fastens the nut into position. Once you're done with the first hole, you're just going to repeat the same step for the remaining holes as well. Follow the same steps for the remaining two and two holes on the sides. So make sure to make it tight, but don't overdo it. So you know, just comfortably tight. Now let's fasten the tripod mount inserts. You just find the right position with your fingers and then just use a regular coin. Make sure to fasten it, but once more, don't overdo it so you don't want to make it too tight. Just, you know, comfortably, comfortably right there. And then find the other position and do the same thing right here as well. Here is a lens holder. It's also part of the basic package. This is uh, currently compatible with a Mamiya Press lens. 
It is not something that uh, you necessarily need, but it just serves as an extra attachment between the lens and the camera body itself. Make sure to match the red dot on the lens with a little gap in the lens holder. You have a one little set screw in the package. Make sure to fasten the lens holder to the lens using this little set screw. Once this is done, you just take the lens and you place it on the camera body. What I did was uh, I took the four M4 screws and I just fastened the lens onto the camera body. The set screw in the bottom hole of the camera just secures the lens onto the camera body. When using bigger and heavier Mamiya press lens, the two holes on the two sides, the upper ones, serve the same purpose as the bottom one. On the top and bottom end of the camera, you have four holes for the set screws. Make sure not to screw the set screws all the way in, because uh, you have the back. The Goodman Zone is, by the way, compatible with the Mamiya RV67 back. Just as I said, don't screw the set screws all the way in so you can still attach the back onto the camera. You need to be extra careful when uh, fastening this set screw so it barely has to touch the Mamiya back. The funny thing is that this uh, little set screw is uh, so strong it creates such a force that if you overdo it, it actually breaks the, the body of the camera. Let's just see what I attached in the meanwhile. This is a grip that can actually go on the right and on the left side as well. You can use the M4 screw to attach it to the camera body. An extra such as the sport viewfinder and the flash mount, they can go on the side and on the top as well. You can use an M3 screw to attach that to the body. We are actually done building your camera that is now ready for shooting. It's actually a raw version. But in the next video, um, I'm going to show you some post-processing tips and we're also going to use the foils that are part of the kit. Thanks for watching the video and building the Goodman Zone camera with me. Make sure to use the Goodman Zone hashtag so we can follow your creative journey. Bye! <laughs>